Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. So today, I do have a brand I don't know if I've ever done a fragrance from, and it's from Elizabeth Arden, and it is Sunflowers. So if you'd like to hear when this came out, notes, my thoughts on it, because as you can see, this is not a first impressions, then please keep on watching. All right, so I ended up picking this up for $5.99 at my local outlet store. This is the 8-ounce body spray. It does come in an actual perfume, which perfumes are stronger, less alcohol, more fragrance oil than body sprays. Body sprays have a lot more alcohol. Uh, yeah, very first ingredient is alcohol in this. That's the difference between perfumes and body sprays is the amount of alcohol and the amount of fragrance oil. So... Just FYI, if you didn't know that. So this came out in 1993. I was eight years old. So 1993, this is a very nice floral fragrance. If you're not big into florals, I don't know if you would like this, but a lot of florals, but then the base notes are uh, deeper, has some musk, stuff like that. So it has a really, really nice mister. Just your regular, like, really really fine mister it's not gonna like shoot you with a stream i've had some body sprays i think we all have where it will shoot like just a jet of fragrance and this doesn't do that it's like your bath and body works type of pillowy like cloudy mist if that makes sense so really really nice mister um so this does have top notes of melon peach brazilian rosewood bergamot it has a lot more i just did i just did a few because this is probably the fragrance that I've tried and I've researched and everything that has like the most notes. Tons and tons and tons. Mid notes are rose, jasmine, rose, jasmine, and orris root. And then here comes the fun part. Base notes are sandalwood, musk, amber, um, oak moss, and cedar. So lots of fruit, lots of uh, florals, very, very floral, but then you have those base notes that kind of help to ground out the fragrance. So while it, while it is a very floral fragrance, sweet, very, very feminine, those base notes help to make it so it's not cloyingly sweet. The way it sits on my skin is beautiful. Definitely very floral. How many times am I going to say floral? Let me know what your guess is down below in the comments. I bet it's a lot. Um, but with the amber, the cedar, those types of base notes, it really helps to make it so it doesn't turn sickeningly sweet on me. A lot of times, that's why I don't like floral or super fruity fragrances because it, they do turn extremely sweet on me. I don't like that scent on myself. So I do love that there are those muskiness, that woods, the woodiness of the base notes. So it makes this a very, very wearable fragrance. Um, lasting power, I'd say this is a pretty good one. It lasts about eight or nine hours. It is a potent body mist. Um, I would be very interested in the perfume just because this is so long lasting. It stays beautifully on the skin, on clothes. I bet the perfume, like the full strength perfume is out of this world. Amazing. But I absolutely love this. I think this is a great scent for spring. I know we're still in February, but you know, March, April is when we start seeing, you know, probably even now, we start seeing the new spring fragrances coming out. This is an oldie, but an absolute goodie. It is incredible. I really, really like this. I would repurchase this, guaranteed. This is probably in my top five, which surprises me with it being so sweet, but there's just something about it. It is such a classic. It's beautiful. When I, uh, mentioned this or I showed it or something and someone was saying that they love sunflower. It's a really, really beautiful scent. So I think if you are looking for a new scent for spring, I definitely recommend Elizabeth Arden's Sunflowers. It's beautiful, timeless. I do think that this would be most appropriate for mid twenties and up. I don't know, unless you've got a teenager that really, really loves florals with those, uh, those base notes that I mentioned. I don't know if they would like this, um, but I think 20 mid twenties and up beautiful scent. It doesn't smell like something my grandma would wear. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. There's those scents that you smell. Like when I smell aqua velva, that just totally reminds me of my grandpa. 
when I smell this, it doesn't give me flashbacks of my grandma or anything. So while it is a mature scent, it is not something that someone my age or younger couldn't wear. Really, really beautiful packaging, you know, just like the really beautiful sunflower. The perfume bottle looks the same, has the same art with the sunflower on it. So really, really nice scent for spring. I definitely, definitely recommend it if you are looking for one. It's absolutely incredible. Really special, very, very nice. And like I said, top five for sure. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I will go ahead and put it in the uh, product box so that way if you're interested in picking it up, you're welcome to. I know this is pretty affordable on Amazon, so if I can find it for a good deal still, I'll go ahead and link it as well. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there for just ease of shopping and everything. But there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. If you did, go and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that jazz. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever tried Elizabeth Arden's Sunflowers. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let us know down below. Also, let us know down below if you are already getting out your spring fragrances. I'd love to know what your favorites are, but I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, every single day of the week, holidays, Christmas, doesn't matter. It's all about budget beauty. It can be a vlog, hauls, um, skincare, makeup, obviously fragrance. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure that you subscribe, but I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start on a plane here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's, but to sit back, relax and enjoy. And I'll see y'all here in just a sec.